Hi, and welcome back to The Crafty Author. My name is Anissa, and I am The Crafty Author. Today, I will be sharing my top five threads that every beginner quilter should know about. So let's dive right in. There are different threads and weights for hand sewing, embroidery, hand quilting, and machine quilting. We are going to be focusing on machine quilting and piecing. Thread comes in different weights. The lower the number, the heavier the thread. For example, 40 weight thread is heavier than a 50 weight thread or a 60 weight thread. The heavier the thread will show your quilting stitches more on your quilt. If you want your stitches to show less, then you would go with a 50 weight to 80 weight thread instead. I like to use cotton thread, but sometimes I use polyester thread for quilting. I like to use polyester thread when I'm quilting with my embroidery machine, but you can use the cotton thread in your embroidery machine as well, and it should work just fine. I know that there might be some apprehension about using polyester thread um, for quilting purposes, but polyester thread has come a long way over the years, and so it is actually okay to use in your quilting. I have used it um, many times to quilt a quilt and I have never had an issue so far. Now we're gonna talk about thread weight and its purpose. So 50 weight thread is the most commonly used thread for piecing and quilting. Um, actually, a 50 weight thread is really good for piecing and it works best if it's used with a smaller um, stitch. And so like when I'm using a 50 weight thread, what I will do is I will um, take my stitch length down to like a one and a half to two. And that ensures that my stitches, um, if I go to cut my block or whatever, that my stitches are not gonna come unraveled. And that's why you want to use um, that smaller st stitch length. Here's a couple of examples of some 50 weight threads that I have. This is a 50 weight variegated thread that I have here. And then um, this Guterman is also a 50 weight. Now, I really, really like to piece with this. Um, I find that it pieces very, very well. And I just wanna show you some examples. This one, 50 weight as well, I believe it is. This is also a 50 weight. This one is not. And I don't think this one is either. Um, so I pulled a couple of examples out to show you, just so you could see. But this is the one that I find that I go to the most for piecing. Um, it's, it's inexpensive, it's easy to find, and it just works really, really well. Now, 40 weight thread is typically used for quilting, but it can be used for piecing as well. Um, so it depends on the density that you want your stitching on your quilt to look like. So, and I find that when I am quilting, I like to use a three to a three and a half inch stitch for quilting. It seems to be right there in that perfect little middle spot. So, and it works really, really well. And here is an example of a 40 weight. This is a King Tut 40 weight cotton thread. And the more cotton, um, what am I trying to say? The lower the cotton count, or the, I'm sorry, the heavier the cotton count, I find the more linty it gets. And so if you don't want a lot of lint in your um, sewing machine, you need to kind of pay attention to what kind of weight you're using with your quilt. This one has, I, don't think you can quite see how many cotton strand fibers are on here, but there are quite a bit. This is a little more linty than say this 50 weight. And this one is um, a finesse thread that I picked up at my local quilt store. 
So just showing you the different fibers. Now here's a 50 weight. Now this one I really like. This one has the silk finish and this is the Mettler. And you can see, I really prefer to quilt with the Mettler stuff. Um, my machine likes Mettler brand thread. So um, I use that a lot. Then um, I have this Madeira. This is actually a, supposedly an over an overlocking thread, which is a serger thread. Um, this is 40 weight as well, but this is a 40 weight, 100% polyester thread. Now I quilted my husband's quilt in this thread on my domestic sewing machine and it did just fine. It was great. So not to worry there. So also I wanna show you what a 30, um, a 30 weight looks like. It's a lot thinner. And I don't typically use 30 weight. I typically stick between that 50 and 60, or I'm sorry, 40 and 50. Um, on occasion, I'll do a 60, but for the most part, those are my two go-tos. So that's where I kind of kind of stay. So you can kind of get a feel as to what I prefer myself. And um, when I'm using these threads, for basting purposes. Now basting is when you go around your quilt before you quilt it and you do the edges. You just sew around it with a long stitch to hold the edges down along your quilt so that you're able to quilt your whole quilt. They do it in long arm quilting and I actually do it when I quilt quilts on my sewing machine here. Um, so what I would do is I would take my stitch length and I would lengthen that to between anywhere between a four and a half and larger. So what it does is it just gives you one big long stitch, but it holds your quilt together. And then when you're ready to put your binding on and you're ready to square up your quilt and get it all ready to finish it, then you will just cut those stitches or just seam rip those out and then you're ready to go. So the top five brands of thread that I prefer. So we're gonna start with number five. <laughs> number five is an Aurifil 80 weight for quilting. I am so sad that I don't have any Aurifil on hand. I haven't been able to get a hold of any in quite some time. So I don't have that, but I have used it for quilting and it is amazing. It works beautifully. Number four, is King Tut by Superior Threads for quilting. This is actually a long arm um, thread that I had picked out and had quilted on my daughter's quilt when I used a long armor. But um, I have since used this cone of thread and I really love the King Tut brand of um, threads. They are a little more on the higher side um, price point but they work um, awesome and they are beautiful, beautiful on a quilt. Number three is the Madeira Polyester for quilting with my embroidery machine. So I would quilt with this on an embroidery machine. As a matter of fact, I have been quilting the little gnomes with my embroidery machine with this. And this is the Madeira 100% polyester. I like to purchase the cones. Um, they just, I find that they last longer. Here's another Madeira cone that I have. Um, that is again, this is poly neon thread. Well, make sure I got that back on there, okay. And then my number two, of course, is my Gooderman thread that I pick up at Joann's. This is an affordable thread. I think this spool is around $12 because it's the larger one. Um, I use this for piecing and almost exclusively, I use this brand for piecing. My sewing machine likes it. I like it. I find that it doesn't have a whole lot of lint and it works just great. And my number one thread for quilting and piecing 
is the Mettler. So I like to use this mostly for quilting and I enjoy using it for piecing as well. But like I said, almost exclusively, I use this for piecing. I find that these two threads are actually pretty similar, um, but this one is just a little bit better for quilting and the colors that it comes in are, I mean, it's amazing. There's a lot of colors and the colors are so vibrant as you can see. So I choose these as my top five due to ease of use, um, quality, availability, and the lint factor. And I find that from personal experience that these thread brands produce less lint than some of the other brands that I've used in the past. And choosing a thread I think is really a very personal preference and what works for one quilter will not work for another necessarily. So you want to play with the different weights and brands to find which one works for you and fits your needs the best. Thank you for watching. Keep on crafting. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.